Hi, I'm Jenny Moncaster. I'm a professional artist working from the Colour Factory Studios down in Winchester. And I'm mainly a mixed media and acrylic artist. I love playing around with all sorts of different art materials to see the different effects. And uh, recently I've been working with Daily Rowney inks. I'm absolutely loving the results. So much colour and incredible ease of application. Very, very fluid. Um, so Dale Rowney do quite a range of inks and they've all got very different characteristics, all very unique. And I've come up with a few projects which I want to show you. And we'll be looking at System 3 and FW inks, which are acrylic based, and Aquafine inks, which are water soluble pigmented inks. So let's have a look at them. System 3 acrylic inks, a massive pop of colour in a little bottle like this. I love these. Um, they've got all the properties of acrylic paint but in an ink and they will literally go on any surface. So they're really great for mixed media work as well as more traditional fine art projects. So the colours are really opaque, really intense and they come in a brilliant range including metallics and fluorescents and they have amazing coverage. And what's good about these inks is because they're System 3, the colours are consistent across the System 3 range. They are water resistant when they're dry, which means that you can layer them up colour on colour on colour, and you can work quite quickly and quite spontaneously to get some brilliant effects. So you can also dilute them with water, get some really lovely kind of watercolory sort of pale washes, really lovely. So, so many different ways to apply these inks. So I've got a little project coming up that I want to show you, but I'm just gonna talk about some of the ways that I've applied the ink um, and the paper as well. So the paper that I'm using is um, watercolor paper. It is uh, 300 grams hot press, so that's smooth. And what I've done is I just like to divide my paper up with masking tape before I start painting. And it almost gives me like a little reveal at the end. So I've kind of got more than one um, painting at the end. Uh, it's just quite fun to do. And so, yeah, using lots of different ways to apply these inks, I will start off with using brushes, sort of putting on quite big, broad strokes, uh, then spraying with some water in a little spritz bottle like that. That's quite good fun. So you can get some really lovely kind of watercolory, drippy effects with a paint kind of really fluid uh, and, and moving. Even taking a little straw and blowing with it as well for great effect. I've also mixed some um, ink with water, about 50-50, and put them in my spritz bottles like that. So a few different colours there. Uh, really lovely to incorporate those in the artwork as well. But I'm also using those in conjunction with stencils. So you can spritz through uh, different pattern stencils for quite good effect. And also because the inks are acrylic based, they work really well with rubber stamps for great effect. And I just make myself a little stamp pad with some kitchen paper and just drizzle the ink straight out of the dropper onto that and just use that as a stamp pad. And you can get some really, really good clarity and definition in your design like that. I'm also using the uh, mixed media paint markers. So you can fill those with color and draw with those. Great for technical drawing as well, actually. Um, so I've been using them to kind of mark, make and flick with. They're great fun to use. So, so many different ways to use these inks. Um, yeah, just be experimental. So the piece of artwork I'm about to show you is all about having a bit of fun, uh, looking at color, design and application. So let's have a look at the art in action.
Brownie FW inks. So like System 3, they're also acrylic based, but these come in a range of over 45 colours, and that's not even including the pearlescence. Um, like System 3 inks, they're also water resistant and light fast, so you can apply them on all sorts of different surfaces. But different to the System 3 inks is that they come in a range of opaque, semi-opaque and transparent colour, which are going to give you some beautiful, subtle tones, beautiful washes of colour, not too dissimilar to traditional watercolour. And then there's the pearlescence. What is not to love about a bit of shimmering colour in a pot like that? And it's literally going to light up your artwork. We'll have a little look at that later. The mini project I'm going to show you now is my little quail's egg painting. It is very simple and very quick and just uses a limited palette of colour. I'm using a combination of semi-opaque and transparent ink to achieve those washes of colour and those eggy speckles. And I've cut myself an egg stencil. It's a bit of a cheat, but you'll see why. Roll that egg. about playing with ink and water together. It is great fun to do and it reminds me of when I was a child I had a magic painting book which basically involved chucking a load of water at the pages of the book and letting the picture reveal itself. Well this isn't too dissimilar but this time I'm drawing with water and dropping ink into it and I'm using a combination of the FW inks and the pearlescence and literally going with the flow.
Let's look at Aquafine watercolour ink now. This is a pigmented water soluble ink and it's completely unique to Dale Rowney. Now it's not dye based, so it won't fade over time. And you can use it straight out of the dropper or dilute it with water for some really subtle tones. Now I think it's amazing to have the intensity of a watercolour pigment ready to go in a bottle like that and the colours match the existing tube and pan set, so that's really, really good. Uh, the main difference between the Aquafine and the System 3 and the FW inks is that this is not water resistant, so you've got the added benefit of be being able to lift the ink even when it's dry to achieve some really, really beautiful effects. I love it. Now I'm a bit of a foodie, so I'm interested in painting anything that I can eat afterwards. And with this little project, you can add as much detail or keep it really simple. It's up to you. Take a few colours and experiment with loose washes, letting the colours bleed into each other. I'm also letting some layers dry before moving on to the next. And I've kind of finished off with a bit of characterful spattering. Can't help myself. In this next little video I've taken just one colour, in this case burnt umber. Now I love colour but sometimes I end up using every colour under the sun. So this is a really good exercise for me to restrict the colour and concentrate on the medium, the ink itself. And for this little watercolour sketch I'm going to be using it in all sorts of different ways. So creating watery washes, using a water spritzer, using the dropper itself to draw with, a palette knife to scratch into and even some cardboard to print with. And I'm doing that on Aquafine watercolour paper which is textured.
Rowney in all things Dale Rowney. I love those inks. Lots of different applications and such a versatile medium. And I know that there are so many artists out there using these inks in utterly inspirational ways. So keep creating and I'll see you soon.